Hey, come on, you're. Of quarter. You, you, you were like, you literally have sweat under your eyes. You were I know, I know. Right you're sweating. <laughs> Well, it's, it's because I have more clothes on. Does your oh. wife eat powder food than you do? All fresh ingredients. We cook in a wood fire oven, which is not ever found anywhere, especially around here. There's a lot of people that say they have wood fire, but it's not so much. It's more of a gas assisted with a little bit of wood chips in there for flavoring. Um, but we are strictly 100% wood fire. Our oven runs 2000 degrees, which is great for the crust, it's great for the ingredients, and it's great the fact that we can cook a pizza in a minute and a half. It's a really good flavor to it. A little bit hotter than uh, Frank's. He's about ready to cry. Yeah. No, he's, he's, he's holding it back. He's holding it back. Yeah, you're just trying to deploy. Oh, you ready? You're going you ready, to Nate? Take the smallest. Go ahead, Nate. Go for it. Go for it. Come on, come on. The highlights of our toppings are our meats. I bring in fresh ground pork. I season it myself, and we keep cook it ourselves. Our bacon. We don't have the little bacon bits that really taste like just salt. It's actual bacon, and we mix it up with a whole bunch of black pepper and onions and ham, so it's got a nice pork flavor. And I call it meat crack because it's so addicting. It's really great stuff. Meat crack. Meat crack because it's not bacon bits. So it's really, it's, it, who can, how can you go wrong with bacon? I mean, bacon's amazing. So. You got to have the perfect crust. Wow. And you don't want to have, because you don't want bread. You don't want a big, thick loaf of bread on the bottom of your pizza. And you want to have flavor. You don't want it to be bland and it has to be able to stand up to whatever it is you're putting on the pizza. It's a really light and airy crust uh, because the, the dough is cooked in this hot 2000 degree oven um, that, and that's, that's what leaves that char around the edge. I'm actually working, that's another thing that we'd like to do is grow a lot of our own ingredients so that we can start Grow up. your own ingredients. Oh yeah. I, I like the garden too. Why not? During the summertime, we a lot of our uh, um, tomatoes are freshly grown ourselves. Herbs and spices I like to grow. I like to grow some basil. I can't keep up with the amount of basil that we go through. We go through a ton of basil. Uh, but yeah, it's whole tomatoes, basil, a little bit of extra spice and love, and it's, I can't eat uh, pizza sauce anywhere else. Have you bathed it? Uh, I tried, and we didn't quite have enough to do that, so. <laughs> <laughs> so they have a wide range of sauces here, going from their Ricky pizza, which has a sour cream and mustard base, to their dessert pizza, which has Nutella, which is always fantastic. Let's step outside and go make some pizza. Let's do it. Get our, yeah. All right, so here we go. Yeah, this is where the fun part happens. Here's our oven. Uh, preference on wood, like is there any kind of wood? Any out? kind of hardwood. I really like, locust burns really hot. Um, oak works awesome, love oak. Uh, maple wood works great. I don't want to say it, but I have to. Pizza typically sucks. It really does. It really does. It's bland, it doesn't have any flavor. If it cools down, it tastes like nothing. You know, I'd be, don't get me wrong, I'll still eat it because, you know, a lot of times I got a buzz rock and I want to put something in my face too. But, you know, the quality that you normally get, it's either bread with ketchup and a cheese wannabe on top of it. And I don't, I don't enjoy it. So your first day was out to get pizza? No. <laughs> no, our first date actually was to a comedy show. Oh, so, cool. yeah, he was more nervous than me. So I kind of laughed about that. I was like, yeah, your hands were sweating. In. <laughs> you were doing everything under the sun, trying not to show that you was nervous. And I'm just sitting there like, you all right? You okay? <laughs> the cheese, uh, whole milk mozzarella. Uh, we also do the gorgonzola, the feta, the Swiss, the brie. This place has definitely found its niche in fresh ingredients. Everything is either like cut season or they just chop it up themselves. It, the quality is really put into the pizza. So is there an ingredients where you're like, holy cow, that didn't work? Um, yeah, yeah. It, what was it? It was um, Brussels sprouts. 
did not work well, <laughs> not at all. The thing that keeps me from eating other pizzas is the fact that my wife can't stand pizza. So, therefore... So she works at a pizza shop, but she day. doesn't... <laughs> but she loves our pizza. She won't eat anybody else's. When I did try the pizza, he said that he knew exactly what I would like. And that was a strange thing. I'm like, I don't want no pizza. But he made the lady yell, and he put just a little bit of habaneros on there, and I'm like... It was perfect. Yeah. It was perfect. You know, that's another thing that you don't ever get at pizza shops is where they, uh, they uh, have a little bit more extravagant of colors and uh, ingredients. You know, a lot of these pizzas, you look at it and you'd be like, wow, what are they doing placing those ingredients together? It's because it tastes good. Sometimes all you need are simple ingredients, but the right people putting them together. Uh, we talk about the simplicity of a pepperoni pizza. The, here, it's simple, yet it's complex, and it's delicious, and all those things rolled into one, and it's really the perfect pie, in my opinion. So where do you get the inspiration for the ingredients on pie? Uh, I hang out with Miss Mary Jane a couple of nights a week, and we uh, we talk it out, and we come up with some things here and there. So one of the qualities of a great pizza place is uniqueness. You definitely got that here at Bono Pizza. Unique location, unique owner, you've got really unique, fresh ingredients. It's all happening right here at Bono Pizza. So, at the end of the day, if this is like the last thing you did with your life and the only thing you did was make pizzas, how would you feel? I would be completely stoked. Uh -oh.